Okay, hi everyone, this is going to be a nice, quick, simple little video. Uh, this is if you're taking a photo of a flower in the sunshine and how you can still get a black background without having to use any flash or anything like that. And the thing that you've got to look for is, uh, first of all, light hitting your subject and also light not hitting your background. So for example, just now, I'm going to be shooting this little flower here. And if I have my camera uh, focused so it's on the flower, unfortunately the flower is moving so it's quite hard to make sure you definitely focus on it. And if I turn it on, you've got three types of metering. Metering is how your camera decides what exposure to put the settings at. You have, uh, they're all roughly the same, you either have spot metering or a bit more than a spot metering or you have the full area metering. And the full area will take in all the lights. So if you've got really dark bits and really bright bits, it will struggle to figure out what to do. If you have a, on spot metering, then it will only take the exposure right where the flower is, and it will ignore the exposure in the background. If you have it on the kind of bit in the middle, it does somewhere in the middle. And we've got a perfect example here. I'll show you this. Okay, so as you can see, at the moment, I've got it on matrix metering, and it's given me somewhere between 750th and 1,000. It's just roughly kind of changing its mood every time the actual flower changes its position. If I go to the spot metering, then that'll be just all about the flower, and it should be a much faster shutter speed. Let's turn that. Yeah, stripped to 2,000th of a second. So if I take a photo of each of those, one at 1,500th of a second, and the other one back at the matrix metering, 500th of a second, then that's the two photos that we've got there. Okay, so that last shot of that yellow flower, it didn't have a very dark background. In fact, it doesn't. The sun's still hitting everywhere. But all you need is a background which is in shadow. So for example here, I'm going to be shooting this interesting purple weed uh, against this wall but this wall is in shadow and the sun is hitting the flower here so if I center meter or spot meter as you want to call it on the flower it will just be registering the light that's hitting off that and going into the camera and the background will be such a difference in brightness that this will just seem like completely black even though there's bits of white and everything in it you won't see it so I'll just again it's moving a lot so it might be blurry so let's see if we get shot here in fact, I might just want to hold it. Okay, so there, that's looking like a much darker background. And the flower is looking like it's in a good exposure there. Okay, so apart from the fact that I totally failed the focus on that one, you can see the background is fairly black. But even so, you know, you're not having to use any flash, you're not having to use any black backgrounds or anything like that. All it is, is a, is that a big, no, um, is, uh, is the difference in the brightness from the flower to the background, then that's what makes the background black, as long as you spot meter off the thing which is nice and bright. Like in our spotlight, if we did it down this hole down here, I'll show you this. Like if you, if I were to pick something up, put it against my finger, and then shoot with that as my background. All that is, is just the shade behind a, or in between a shed and a bush. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. Okay, so the last shot I'm gonna do, I've, uh, I'm gonna do this, unfortunately killed flower now, um, against my finger, like what I did with the grasshopper if you've got my book. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just manually focus the camera so it's at its absolute closest it can be, and just shoot it where this is in the sunshine, and the background is nice and dark. Okay, so there you go. That's how we got those shots.